Welcome to its Rafiq. So this is the question paper of computer science class 10 from Rup Metro. Here at first fill in the blanks. First question the length of IPv6 it's uh, 128 bit. Second question the value of variable varies from the answers if it is related to IP then the answer should be 0 to 255. But the question is not clear. So it may be something else also. Then third question, the question is wrong. So if anyone know the answer, you can write in comment section. Number D, answer will be element. And number E, it will be exclamatory sign. Fill in the blanks, uh, sorry, MCQ. The first question will be 32 because whenever you are going to buy a switch, you have to buy either 8 ports, 16 ports or 32 ports. You will not get 31, 30 or 28. So the correct answer is 32. Number B, DHCP server provide automatic IP address. Number C, there are three type of loops, for loop, while loop and do while. And number D, loop inside another loop, it is called nested loop. Then next one, what is the name of the num of the array it will be base address the name of an array is also known as base address then one word answer write one example of wireless technology you can write either wi-fi or bluetooth number b what are the two type of function it will be user defined function and library function then number c three parts of an function it's a declaration call and definition name one demerit of array it is fixed size define inner loop the loop which is writ written inside another loop it is known as inner or you can write also like this way the loop which is written inside the first loop number f one portion of for loop it will be initialization define loop the repetition repetition of same instruction for spe specific number of time is known as loop number eight uh, largest type of network it is when true and false http transfer encrypted data true number b c programming main function can be called as call function it will be false because no other function can call main function it is the main part of a program number c in c programming array cannot be declared as given fact it is true then these are for two mark question why host name should not be used to identify a computer because it can be changed by any person at any time that's why define computer network then uh, why do we use loop in a program all the questions are easy only then we'll come to the next page write a C program to display the following pattern though this uh, pattern is given as a pyramid shape but uh, actually you have to do in a triangular way only because it will be not possible by using loop because uh, for giving spaces it will be problematic and also actually the first line should have one star second line should have three stars then five but as here only one two and three so we can just create a simple triangle pattern then number j we have to write the indices of the first and third element the first will be the first will be 0 and third will be 2 then write the output of the following code the first code is wrong only because you see the opening parenthesis or the bracket is missing and still the programming is also incomplete so if you write uh, if you compile the program you will get the output this way enter your name and like you will write your name whatever that much only then number b the output will be will be only one x then these are for three mark questions uh, this tcp and udp udp is not included in your book so actually it should be tcp and ip or I, it may be ftp also or http but uh, as udp is not included in book i think this question is wrong then next page write a c program to declare an integer type array then display the individual elements address of the uh, individual elements 
in the ID array means the name of the array should be ID oh sorry ID not actually it should be 1D array 1D means one dimensional array what is global variable then why do we need such variable it is already in exercise and this pattern program is also from exercise only then the ninth one this is also from exercise I hope you have attempt all the answers so write in comment section how you have done in examination thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye